Hello there, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get to lunar orbit, but actually correct this time and also in a full video. And so yeah, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is get out the simple beast. Oh god, it's not here. Simple beast. Uh, oh, they're all simple. Okay, of course. There it is. Because, uh, I can't be bothered to construct a moon rocket right now. Um, I might make a tutorial on, on how to make a moon rocket, although it's very simple. Um, but obviously this rocket will easily get to the moon, so that's what we're going to be using. And we're going to be uh, launching just from DCS pad, it doesn't really matter which one we go for here. And wow, my what are my graphics on right now? They look awful. Uh, I guess that's my uh, NVIDIA control panel settings. Probably doing that, I don't know. I'll fix that after if that doesn't matter. Let's launch. Uh, so we're going to be launching the east because that will take advantage of Drew's rotation giving us a so so to speak giving us a kick in delta v uh, so that's what we're going to do that's the direction we're going in not west because that's what i did last time and that is obviously wrong well technically it's not wrong you can still launch west but it's just not efficient so yeah uh, i need to turn on all this stuff i could have just pressed toggle all you know that's uh pretty stupid of me but there we go uh, so we're going to target Luna here just for reference, so to speak, um, and so that we can just see where it is. And it doesn't matter where it is when we're launching, because we're going to um, do all that stuff in orbit. So once we're in orbit, we'll be able to line up, get into a better position to do our translunar injection, and then get to Luna hopefully. So yeah, we're just going to make sure we're locked up and we are and we are ready to go. If for some reason you don't know how to get to Drew Orbit I already have a video on that on the channel so if you need help with that go over to that video I'll put the timestamp up and then yeah come back here and I'll show you how to get to Luna Orbit. We're just gonna launch up here now. Oh nice, I didn't know we had that. Uh, I guess it's the updated one. But I don't remember it having the um, engines to push us away from the first stage. That's quite cool. Oh, is that something new as well? Or am I... That is. Yeah, I believe that's a new thing. It's showing the trajectory of the stage we just dropped there, which is actually kind of cool. Dare I say... Useful. It's pretty useless actually, unless you're launching like reusable rockets, I guess. Then it's very useful. But that is, that is, despite the fact it's very niche, that is very good, I think. Because of course, all these, uh, the maneuver nodes have been updated, I believe, so that's just something I suppose has been added here. So we're going to. Uh, is that for? Oh, oh, it has that as well. Okay, that's. I didn't realize how much this had changed. I don't remember it being like this. But I guess it is. Um. So yeah, that's cool. Maybe we should uh, drop that off now. Well, let's get a bit more here. Get down to like 15% and I'm sure we can drop that. Oh wait, literally just chuck it. Okay. <laughs> and there we go, we have our orbit. And that is so cool. Seeing the uh, little engine skirt there is going to <laughs> fly away. Um, so let's get this in 
to the launch escape system. And then we are Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that's that that's cool. Okay, so the launch escape system is now just gonna be stuck in space. I don't know if that actually happened with the real Apollo if it just got yeeted into space and stuck in Earth orbit. Um but if it is that's pretty cool. Um Alright, so what we're going to do now is see where we are so we can get ready for our transient injection. We're going to time warp until Luna is in a more favorable position here. Which will be around this area. Once we're at the we're gonna be here at the bottom. And we want Luna to be around here so we can boost out to catch it uh, before it goes around to us so uh, there you go that's that's that so we're gonna wait here and I would say that's a pretty good otherwise we're gonna have to catch up with it and we don't really want to waste too much delta V even though this thing has plenty of delta V so we are actually in the perfect position to start our boost and there goes the second stage and there we go, now we're just going to start uh, boosting our orbit up to meet Luna. Now we could use maneuver nodes here, uh, and actually I might use a maneuver node just to show you how they work. So let's do another pass here, just so I can show you. Uh, we are going to be in a bit of a bad position for Luna here, but that doesn't matter I want to show this um, let's just do it here uh, so we're going to use this green one to boost our orbit essentially uh, and this is what's known as a planned burn where we're going to it's going to um, show us where we want to end up so we just keep boosting this until we get to that that is the uh, that is our entrance, so to speak, of the sphere of the influence of Luna. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. It's going to show us um, the all the delta V and all the time, whatever. Uh, but this is a planned burn, so we're going to want to then um, press this one here, which will basically make the engine automatically fire as long as the engine is staged already it will automatically fire and it will take us to the perfect um this perfect orbit to take us to luna essentially and as you can hear the engine has started there so it's going to start boosting us up to luna and you can see how long this fun burn is it is 16 seconds and it's also uh, got thing there With all these orbit lines, it can be a bit confusing, but that's because we've got the launch escape system and all that. That's uh, nothing to do with what we're actually doing here. And there we go. We have used the planned burn, and we are now on trajectory to encounter Luna. So now all we have to do is time warp. Um, I don't tend to use maneuver nodes ever, though I think they're now more. They're now um, now they're changed a little bit I think they're more useful than than they ever were uh, so I would like to use them more because I find them pretty interesting and they're just pretty cool to use um, and they feel they feel more refined after this update I don't know if anything in that regard has changed but they just feel easier to use I think that's probably just the, like that's probably just me making stuff up but it feels like it's easier to use I haven't checked the patch notes so I don't really know um, anyway, let's continue, and we're going to time warp, and we're also going to lock our velocity to retrograde, which will make our craft face backwards um, to the direction it's going, which means that once we arrive in lunar orbit, we can start slowing ourselves down to circularize the, circularize the orbit. 
we're just going to speed up here and you don't have to slow down it will automatically slow us down once we get to Luna um, and as you can see here we are facing our way but I'm going to activate the RCS here and then that is going to automatically turn us to be facing the correct direction here for our retrograde burn. And I'm just going to time warp because that will uh, speed us up. And then what we're going to do is what I like to do is time warp until we get to the middle of our uh, inter interception here. And then this is where I like to start burning so we can make a, a nice little orbit. Now, just to show you again, I'm going to use a planned burn. I normally wouldn't, but just to show you, I'm going to. Just to show you again, uh, I'm going to make the plan burn here. That is the wrong way. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, we want to decrease our um, thing there. Uh, so we'll go for, and this helps us also fine tune an orbit. If we want a very specific orbit, this will help us get that specific orbit. And um, once again, just check that our toggle burn, our auto burn is on. That's what makes the engine automatically fire. Um, you can also lock the node here, which can will stop you from changing it, so you don't mess up and you know do something stupid with it. Uh, so I'm just going to lock that as well. And the arrival time is how long it takes for you to arrive at the burn, essentially. So when we'll start burning. Um, I believe anyway, it might also be uh, the middle of the burn, but I think it's when we arrive. So if we uh, fast forward here to the arrival time, and then wait there, we have uh, 13 seconds to go. I hope we have enough delta V here to match. I don't think it's going to require 386 meters. And um, how much do we have? Let's say in here. Uh, yeah, we have enough. We have 566 meters per second of delta V. We should be just about to start our burn. Let's see. Yep, 31 seconds. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> there we go. We've started our, our burn here. And I'm just going to speed this up a bit. And look at that. I love these new uh, orbit line colours. Those are really nice. I didn't realise there was a gradient there, but that's super nice to look at. And there we go. We have arrived in lunar orbit. Um, now... I am going to actually land on Luna as well, just to show you that um, as an extra bit in this video. So we're going to make our orbit more circular so we can have an easier time landing. So we're once again going to lock retrograde and wait until we are at the opposite side here. Now we are going to check we are the right direction and hit the burn. And there we go, we've used all the fuel in that stage. So I'm just going to go to the light side of the of Luna so we can do a nice little uh, stage separation here. And there we go. And we also need to uh, spin ourselves around because we want to dock with the lander here. I used way too much RCS for that, but it's smart because I'm not going back to Drew, so. Um, whoa! <laughs> I almost hit that. 
Alright, we're going to go to the dark side here just so we can land in the daytime. Um, we are going to be taking control of this one. We are going to be undocking. Uh, that guy's gonna go somewhere. I don't know what he's doing, but he's freaking out. Uh, we're gonna lock retrograde and. Uh, we're gonna check where we are, okay. We're going to um, activate the engine first because it's gonna try and activate the landing gear, which is a little bit annoying and not really what I want. And there we go. And now we are going to time warp to the surface here. And we're going to continue to slow ourselves down. Just so we don't crash into the moon. Or Luna, sorry. Right, turn the engine off there for a second. Go down. And we're going to activate the engine again. And this is going to be a little bit close, I'd imagine. No, it's not. It's fine. Alright, activate the landing gear. And yeah, start slowing down a lot more. But not too much, because we will flip otherwise. And we have landed. That simple. Well, I didn't make the docking very simple, but it was literally that simple. Oh well, there we go. You've learned how to get through all of it. Thanks for watching.